Brad Hayden, Vice President for Marketing with Aspen Avionics. You've rolled out kind of an exciting new product here at Air Venture 2011. You're holding an iPad, it's got to be something cool. It is cool. Just like we've seen uh, dedicated GPSs in, in automobiles kind of go the way of the great white buffalo thanks to uh, smartphones that have GPSs built in, we're starting to see the exact same thing happen in the cockpit with iPads that have very powerful and useful aviation applications loaded onto them. Their usefulness in the cockpit, however, has been a little bit hindered, if you will, by the fact that they actually don't work with the certified avionics in the panel. So what we've built is a wireless bridge, in effect, that will link the smart devices, whether they be iPad devices and eventually Android devices that come into the cockpit, with the certified avionics so that they can actually exchange information. And there's some really exciting application options when you start thinking about the possibilities of being able to take the data flight plan data, for example, navigation data, things like that, and be able to pass it to and from the avionics installed in the cockpit. What was it that caused you to look at the handheld smart device as an interface for the certified avionics? The pilots themselves actually set the tone on that. They're the ones who started bringing these devices into the cockpit, and the developers out there, the iPad developers like ForeFlight, AvConnect, those people started developing the applications that worked on these devices. So we really just followed the trend and said, look, these things are really powerful. People are buying them uh, and using them for all sorts of things, including aviation. They make a lot of sense. They're becoming more and more affordable. We're going to see a whole bunch of manufacturers making different flavors of these devices. And it really makes a lot of sense when you think about the fact that people are using them for isolated, if you will, um, flight planning and navigation and, and other types of aviation activities to link them into the, to the avionics. So you can take a let's say a GPS that maybe doesn't have a touch screen on it and using an application like ForeFlight you can turn it into a touch screen GPS. Abadon is the brand of choice for pilots who want innovative easy to use avionics and the new IFD 540 GPS Navcom sets a new standard for simplicity in communication and LPV navigation. As a slide-in replacement for existing 530 series navigators, and with a highly intuitive touchscreen control, the IFD 540 makes it much easier to access the information you want when you want it, reducing head downtime and making flying more enjoyable. Finally, you have a choice, and the choice is easy. Avidyne. So talk about some of the functionality. How does the device interface with the avionics, and what can a pilot do with it? Well, the really exciting thing is, is that we've developed this little guy right here, which we call the, uh, the CG100, mm -hmm. the connected gateway. The connected gateway is based on commercially available hardware. It's completely expandable. You see this type of technology in like telematics or in automotive industry. It has an ethernet board, it has wireless, it has Bluetooth. It has flash memory storage, it'll have USB connectivity. You can see that it's got standard ports here so it can be expanded out. This device basically forms a wireless hotspot. And so whenever you bring in the iPad into the, into the cockpit, it's going to link up. Uh, the iPad will recognize that Four Flights built an application, a version of their application that actually will recognize this device, sync up to it, and be able to start transmitting the information into the cockpit. Now, the way that that works into the certified panel, this guy is hardwired in. Mm -hmm. So, really, what happens is you have this uncertified data here on the iPad, and as it crosses the wire and goes up into our device, where the pilot gets the option to acknowledge the data coming in or reject the data coming in, that's when it kind of makes that cross from the uncertified to the certified environment. So the beauty of this is in the demo that we have here today, just to demonstrate one of the many things that can be done on with this connected panel infrastructure, is on the four flight application you can actually create a flight plan, put in your waypoints, sync up through the connected gateway into the MFD and you'll see the flight plan appears onto the MFD. The pilot can accept or reject the flight plan that's being presented and then if they accept that flight plan it'll automatically load into the KSN 770. And the KSN 770, if its flight plan is updated on its side, then you can actually sync it back down into the iPad. So the two are wirelessly synced all the time. All you have to do is just touch a button and it'll sync them both up together. 
So one of the really cool things that you can do in addition to loading flight plans into the KSN 770 is you can actually tune the radios. ForeFlight has an excellent airport diagram screen and you can go in and see all the frequencies that are listed here. The frequencies actually have our little connected symbol next to them and when that connected symbol appears that means you can actually just touch the frequency and it will appear in the standby window on the KSN 770. Back to that pilot acknowledgement, all the pilot needs to do is load that frequency into the primary window and he's now on that frequency. Welcome to the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource. Real-time, 24-7 online, audio, and video programming, where aviation has been getting updated for over a decade. Distributing over 11,000 stories, features, audio, and video programs every year, only ANN covers aviation and aerospace with this much depth, insight, and expertise. Check us out on the web at aero-news.net. Now you've brought a bunch of partners into this as well. This is not just an Aspen project. That's right, and that was critical to really launching this project because this is all about open architecture. Uh, open architecture from a hardware standpoint and open architecture from a software development standpoint. And the partners are very critical because when you think about an open environment, they're going to think of things that apply to them that not a any single company can think of. So, for example, we have PS Engineering as one of our launch partners. PS Engineering is going to think about all things audio that can be done in this open environment. And they're going to want to leverage this technology to bring new and innovative audio solutions. And we wouldn't be able to think of those because, you know, we're in the display business. These guys think audio. JPI, it's the same thing. They do engine instruments. We have Jeppesen with their chart solutions. We have Seattle Avionics as a partner. We also have, of course, AvConnect and ForeFlight who are coming on board with their initial applications. Honeywell, of course, with KSN 770 is, is also a partner. And then Avidyne actually just signed on today, and they're going to be a connected, able, uh, connected enabled partner as well. So the partnership really is the powerful aspect of this whole thing, because the more applications that are built, the more hardware options that are built, and the more integration we see in the panel, the more options that our customers are going to have. Our goal is to keep flying affordable. And if we can do that through introducing this new type of technology and allow people to pick point solutions that work for their panels, we're going to be able to keep people flying for a few generations to come, we hope. Three years ago, we never would have seen this device interfacing with a panel. Gaze into your crystal ball five years down the road, and, and what do you see as somebody who works in this industry? You know, I see just much more integration. I mean, we're already seeing these personal devices, just like these iPads, come into the cockpit. We're going to see a wider variety. They're going to become even more and more affordable. I think we'll see the dedicated handheld devices really just kind of fade away. I, I think their price points will probably not support people continuing to purchase them. When you can watch a movie on something and then turn around and use it to fly your airplane, uh, I think that, that makes a much better value proposition for the customer. I think we're going to see more integrated avionics solutions and they're going to be driven by this new digital environment. The digital aspect of this is what's really important because that's what allows the information to transfer back and forth across all the panel solutions so easily. So our hope is, is that we can bring more integrated avionics into the panel, allowing those customers to choose the solutions that work best for their aircraft, best for their flight missions, and best for their budgets. Brad Hayden, Vice President for Marketing with Aspen Avionics, thanks for talking with us on Aero TV. Thanks for having me.